the pace of retail bankruptcies and store closures in the U.S. has accelerated thus far this in 2019 compared with 2018. These bankruptcies and closures are reported to be largely due in part to last year's lackluster holiday shopping season. For years there has been lots of talk of a retail apocalypse. This is largely due to shoppers abandoning the nation's malls and flocking to online sellers, such as Amazon and Alibaba. The forecasted increase in bankruptcies and closures means the retail industry's recent pain shows little sign of easing. Click the links in the description to learn more. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yashai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because that's what I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yashai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And uh, this is going to be um, a brief, you know, um, video. You know, just on um, YouTube, you know, just, you know, see what's going on with um, Babylon. You know, Babylon the Great, which is America and the Bible. And um, pretty much this place is um, is going downhill. And um, any day now, there's going to be a recession. And soon, there's going to be a global recession. Soon, there's going to be global, worldwide chaos that the Bible describes as the day of Jacob's trouble, which also involves what? The hour of temptation, which involves you people, as well as myself, being tested whether you're going to accept this mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant or not. And now uh, we know, according to, you know, Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 to 17, that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip implant. And if you take this, you're going to get the judgment written in Revelation chapter 14, verses 9 through 10. There's no repentance for taking this chip, even if you take it out of your skin. All right. So the video is based off of retail bankruptcies rise 7,000 plus store closures. It says the pace of retail bankruptcies and store closures in the U.S. has accelerated thus far. This in 2019 compared with 2018. So this is what, you know, this video is going to be about. It's going to be quick to the point. I'm not going to drag nothing out. It says these bankruptcies and closures are reported to be largely due in part to last year's lackluster holiday shopping season. Because a lot of people, they're not really going in the store to shop anymore. Everybody does things online. So these these businesses, the actual stores, you know, they're losing money. They're not bringing in no money. They can't pay their workers. So what do they have to do? They have to file for bankruptcy. A lot of their stores, you know, that they have in um, different states and countries, they got to close it down because they can't afford to pay the workers. It's not enough money floating around. <laughs> So here's the actual article. It says retail store closures in first half of 2019 surpassed all of 2018. Because what did they say about 2019? They said it's expected that there's going to be 12,000 store closures. And you can do the research yourself, you know, to find that. Oh, it says it in this article. So I'm just going to um, read this briefly. I'm going to bring out a scripture. And that's it. Because this links up with Bible prophecy. Because here you have Donald Trump saying he wants to make America great again, but that's not possible. You know, America will never be great. America is built upon the blood, sweat, and tears, the rape, rob, and murder of the children of Israel, which is the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indian sea line that's gathered through the four corners of the earth. But the bulk of us is here in America. <laughs> So it says store closings in the first half of 2019 have already surpassed the total store closures last year, a new report found. A growing number of retailers are going out of business while others are reducing their physical presence. The report from BDO USA, a professional service firm, found that retailers across a range of sizes and scale announced a combined 7,282 stores will be shuttering so far this year. So if you have all these stores closing down, what about the people that work in these stores? What about the workers? They're going to be unemployed. 
all right? And this is bad, you know, for the economy. You know, this is bad, you know, for those people. You know, this can cause civil unrest, and this is why a recession is in the works. It says, because when you watch the news, see, they want you, they want it to make it seem like everything is okay. You know, we added thousands upon thousands of jobs, but that's that's not the case. When you actually doing the research, it says a total of 12,000 stores are expected to shutter in 2019, according to the report. All right, so that's pretty much what I want to um, bring out, just to get to the point. All right, there's expected to be 12,000 store closures, and um, already there's 7,200 store there's 7,282 stores that's going to close, which is more than last year. Last year was 6,000. All right, so that should tell you something about this economy and the state of America and what's getting ready to happen, how this is going to lead to martial law, civil unrest, all kind of things. Another thing I was um, reading, I might do a video on it if the Lord allows. You know, they said that um, 4,500, you know, truckers, or without a job, you know, that they got laid off. So what does that tell you about, you know, um, America getting imports from other countries? If you don't got no, you know, truckers, you know, people that work for these truck trucking companies that you see in the highway, the 18-wheeler trucks, you know, they have their own lane where they, only the trucks can um, drive through because they're getting the imports. Well, if you don't got no truckers, then how are you going to get the imports? So this place is going downhill fast. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. And the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders, referring to the workers, cease, because there are few. Why is there few? Because these companies are going out of business. It says, And those that look out of the windows be darkened. Verse 4, And the doors shall be shut in the streets. And that's, that's what we're coming down to. You know, we're coming down to a point where you're going to be walking past stores and all these stores are going to say 75 to 80 percent off, you know, that they're closing down. You know, there's a huge clearance sale. Oh, you're just going to have stores that's just straight up going to close. You know, people got families, people got, um, you know, kids that they got to feed. You know, what are they supposed to do? This is going to cause civil unrest. This is going to be a big issue and problem, you know, for Donald Trump in America. They're going to have to do something about this. Because Donald Trump is making it to where he doesn't want really poor people, but he really doesn't want um, people on government assistance programs anymore. He wants people to actually work. He thinks that's what's going to make America great again. And really that involves putting the children of Israel back in slavery. It says, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. Because most people, they used to waking up in the morning to go to work. But the day is coming when you're not even going to have to do that because the company you work for, they're going to be out of business. They're going to file for bankruptcy. It says, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. You know, referring to the dying celebrities. All right, so... Pretty much, I just want to um, do that. Do that. Um, you know what? I'm going to get one more scripture. This is Jeremiah 51. Because there's nothing that, you know, any president that gets elected into office can do. Donald Trump said that out of his own mouth. He says he wants to call. You could do the research. You don't got to believe nothing I'm saying. He says he wants to cause a recession for his 2020 campaign. And why you think you got all these people saying that a recession is months away? It's months away. It's just a matter of time, man. This is not going to keep lingering, you know, year to year. It's the same shit. You're hearing the same shit. Something is going to have to give some. This is Jeremiah 51 to 7. Babylon, which is referring to America. In this present time, it says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drinking, and the nations have drunk of our wine. Therefore, the nations are mad, referring to what? The philosophies, 
that America has pushed throughout all the world to the point where you have these other countries and nations following after America. You know, what they see on the television, what they hear in the music, you know, the reality TV shows, the fact that when they come here, the, the women becoming worse than us, you know, the other nations leaving their culture and their heritage to become Christians. This is what's going on. They're drinking of the wine of America, which is nothing but lawlessness. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her to take bond for her pain, if so she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. And that's the point. You know, this is this is the end of America. All right? The scriptures tell you, 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, Esau is the end of the world. America is the main infrastructure of Esau's own rulership. So this place is done. It's almost done. It says forsake her. Yeah, forsake her mentally. Understand that this kingdom is temporal. That's why it doesn't make sense to sell out. You know, you're going to sell out to a kingdom that's temporal. It says, and let us go everyone into his own country. And that's what these nations are going to do. These nations that you see here, you know, the Africans with the gift shops, you know, the the, the Chinese people selling knockoff shit. You know, they they got um, their laundry mats, the Chinese stores, you know, all these heathen nations. They got their different delis, how they uh, market and make money off of the oppression of the children of Israel, you know, which is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the American Indians. They're going to go back into their own country because they see the dollar devaluing. They're going to be like, wait a minute, we can't make no money here no more. It says, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies and that's what's going on that's why this place is being judged as soon as it's going to be physically destroyed by 200 million thermonuclear missiles according to um revelation chapter 9 verses 16 to 19 it's going to be destroyed in one hour all right so hopefully this is edifying